Hello, everyone. What's poppin', bitches? I ain't even gonna lie to you guys, okay? Um, all I can smell right now is my roast dinner, and I just like, can't concentrate. I've like tried to do this intro for like the past like how long have I been filming for? Six minutes. Anyway, hello. I'm treating you to a clothing video today with my faves at Misguided, the Playboy ranges that Misguided do. I feel like we just need to talk about it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just need to share with you all the good good. I also love the Playboy collections because they are unisex, so my boys can get involved too. This video is in collaboration with Misguided, so thank you guys for wanting to do this with me. I feel like you guys know by now how I feel about the Playboy collections. I've done other videos on my channel that aren't sponsored, like I did them with my own back, because I just think the stuff is like good shit. Do you know what I mean? Miss Guardia are actually releasing another Playboy collection. This is like part 5000 and I'm not complaining. It launched on the 3rd of March, which the upload date of this video, that should be yesterday. Right now, it all should be on the website. I'm pretty much here to share with you some of my favorite pieces from the new collection. And then also the most recent launch, which they only launched recently. <laughs> I have some bits from that as well. Pretty much everything in this video, you can get your hold, your hold. You can get your hands on right now. Everything will be linked in the description box. Also, would this be a Jordan Lips and Clothing video if I did not have a cheeky little discount code for you guys? It will be on screen now. So, I mean, save some coins while you're at it. I'm just dead excited. Um, I love a bit of Playboy. It's misguided. Let's just go ahead and um, just dive in, shall we? Piece number one, guys. Okay, can we talk about her? If this is not me in an outfit, then I don't know what the frick is. I think this is dead cool. I feel like this is very different to anything that they've done before in the past Playboy collections. What would you call this? It's like a zip through oversized sweatshirt. The oversized part to it, hello, hi. We all know how I feel about oversized stuff. I live in it. So this is just so like comfy and like cool girl, cool boy vibes. I love the whole like black and white theme and the graffiti writing all over it. Panel's really cool in the middle. It's just like a statement piece. Like, I mean, I've paired it with plain items so that this goes over the top and it just adds a little something something also it is just so warm and so just like snudge because the inside is fleeced i just feel some type of way about this comfy casual cool at the same time and i feel like this is something that anybody could rock you could zip it up as well if you wanted hello <laughs> bear with me i clearly just can't human you could wear it like that if you want it you know like zipped up and more of like the top about to catch me wearing this 24 7. I mean we've got some good stuff to come but honestly I feel like this might be my favorite piece. You know when you put something on you're like this is me. This is me. First piece done let's see what else we have. I was about to move on to the next clothing piece and then I remembered I'm actually wearing a little accessory that is from the range as well. Anything jewelry come my way. Okay, I'm obsessed. I mean, you guys probably can tell. <laughs> jewelry adds so much to an outfit. Like, it's such a simple thing, but I just think it, like, bumps an outfit up. And this choker, girl, girl. Not normally a choker girl. I mean, when I was, like, 15, it was, like, my shit. But <laughs> more so these days, I gravitate towards more, like, daintier, daintier? <laughs> daintier pieces of jewelry. This is definitely more statement, but there is just something so sick about this. I'll, of course, give you guys, like, a close-up in that, but it's a silver choker necklace it's like chain vibes it's got the word playboy on which has like little diamantes in <laughs> diamantes <laughs> it's weighty as well which i love because it makes it feel a bit more expensive and a bit more luxurious and bougie you know what i'm saying i think it's so rad like just <sighs> if you're a jewelry lover like me and you want to try something a little bit different but still kind of like cool at the same time this is the one okay i have a question would this be, right, a Playboy X misguided haul if there was not a hoodie dress? You guys are fully aware how obsessed I am with these. I can't even express my love enough. At this point in my life, I think I've lost count how many of these I own, and I'm just not even mad about it. Just give me more, okay? Like, 50 million? 50 million one. Thank you so much. I mean, I even created one of my own when I had my misguided collection. Um, so kind of says a lot, right? Such a staple for me that this is a throw on piece. Put it on, you look put together, you look good, but you, you're ready to walk out the door in like two seconds. All white aesthetic, love that. However, misguided have spiced it up a little bit, okay? It's pink on the back. We've got some pink text going on. We also have a pink Playboy bunny on the front. I actually don't even know what this says. But it looks cool. Lengthwise is perfect. Like everything is covered. I mean, they do have a band at the bottom that is a little bit tighter. So it gives you, as you can see, a bit more shape if you want to bring it up a bit. The fit of her, we can see she's oversized. She's slouchy. She's comfy. It's fleece lined inside as well. 
Um, the whole just, oh, I just think they do hoodie dresses so right. Also, the hood is a really nice size. Have you ever had it where some hoods are like this and you're literally a pea head? This with some trainers or some cool boots. Outfit done. Right, next up, okay, we have a little print moment. How groovy is she? We've got a little tie-dye moment. I mean, a jogger and cropped hoodie co-ord is always a yes from me, but do you know what I have to say about the fit of these? How flattering are these? Obviously, you've got a drawstring waist on the joggers, so obviously you can pull everything in and give you some shape. We've got pockets, which is always a must for me. And then they do go down to, don't mind my socks. <laughs> Exposed. The hoodie, as you can see, is um, tighter, which I think is really, really flattering for this co-op because obviously you've got looser here. It's a little bit more tighter on the gals. <laughs> Longer crop, I feel like I would have preferred it a tiny bit shorter, but then having said that, that's just me being a hoe. <laughs> there is a hood on the back, a black Playboy Bunny logo in the middle here, and then there's also on the joggers as well, which is like a cool kind of subtle way to do it if you're not like, if you don't wanna walk around with like Playboy all over you. I mean, bitch, I'm cool with it. Okay, I have so much Playboy stuff at this point, I just am Playboy. But I completely understand that some people prefer something a little bit more chill, you know? It's just like the perfect lounge piece, isn't it? Totally a piece though that I would rock going out. I mean, stick on some trainers, a cool coat, outfit done. Material wise, do you know what? It's actually, I'd say it's like in between. Like it's not thick, but it's not thin. I have to say, this piece definitely even surprised me. I'm sometimes hit and miss with tie day, sometimes I'm like, not today, babe. Surprisingly, I love a lot more on than I did off. Do you know what? It's a vibe from me. <laughs> so we have another little set here. How cute is this? <laughs> Something a little bit different. We've gone back to the graffiti print, but this is so cool. Joggers again. Um, and these are actually a lot like thicker. Um, oh my god, is that a zip? Oh my god, we got a zip pocket, guys. Stop it. <laughs> Pink drawstrings on them. I'm not gonna I have to be completely real with you guys. I'm not the biggest fan of the pink on this. I completely understand why they're doing it because pink is like a running theme throughout it. But I just feel like this should have been like a white or black or something. I don't know. I mean, I don't hate it, but. And then it is actually a color. There is a cropped matching hoodie that looks like this. However, um, I actually have this little, what do you call this? It's like a little corset style top. I love this, you know. I feel like it brings a little bit of like sexy into a jogger outfit. Loving the shape of this top. You know, the way it comes up at the sides. I also like the fact that it's not overly booby, like it's not down here. It's just a little bit more. I mean, I am all for getting the girls out every now and again. Um, I don't have much of them, but I try. Here's the thing, you could even just bring this along as a layering piece. I mean, Loki feel like I'm about to go play golf, but... <laughs> I'm ready. As a free piece, this really works, um, especially in the UK, because um, we see the sun 0.3% of the year. Just as a set, I feel like this just looks wicked. It's girly, it's feminine, but it's like cool and casual at the same time. Layer up with the hoodie if you want to keep warm as well. It's just such a cute fit. Listen, I mean, I can't stress enough, if you're into like your joggers and stuff, you're gonna like be beyond happy with this collection. Clean, man. Like, I feel like it's a girly version of a jogger set and I'm so here for it. It's just not, it's lovely. Do you know what I mean? I feel like I'm saying the same thing. Looks sick together, I'm dead happy with this. Okay, up next we have a t-shirt. I know it looks really like simple and plain right now, but simple is effective. Do you know what? This is very my style. A black t-shirt, um, we've got the, I just like tapped my titty. <laughs> but it's business in the front and party in the back. I actually really like having stuff on the back of t-shirts. Um, it's like surprise mother <laughs> The fit of this is like, it was made for my size. Do you know what I mean? So if you do want to go more oversized, definitely size up a size or two. I've just got on some black misguided cycling shorts on underneath, which how sick are these by the way? This is definitely something that is gonna fit in my wardrobe nicely. Um, it also comes in white as well, which I do have here that I can show you guys. Exactly the same, just in white with black writing. It's just as cool. PSA, it's actually silver writing Jordan. No colours. Personally, I can't even decide which one I like more between the two. It's one of those. It's one of those, we know how I feel, okay, about if I like something, I have to have it in every colour because I just can't, I can't choose. Okay, I'm the most indecisive bitch you will ever meet. <laughs> Easy to pair things with. Feel like it's gonna make a great layering piece as well, you know, like long sleeve tops underneath, big coats. It's clean, that's all I can say. Really, really clean. Oversized t-shirts. We know I love, I mean, JLX and G. <laughs> right, sick. Let's um, let's move on. Here's another T-shirt, but this is actually a T-shirt dress. This is wicked. The colours in this just scream to me, and this is giving me like OG Playboy vibes because you have the girl on the front. It's like throwing me back to when obviously they did like their first collections. Before I say anything about it, I am holding it because it is a bit too long. It's not bad, but it's like 
not my favorite. I think if I tied this up at the side and kind of tucked it under, it would be perfectly fine. Yes, that is what I'm talking about. And it's not even too short now either. I thought you can actually customize your length by doing this. So if you're quite tall, it will cover you and then if you're shorter it will, you know what I mean? I even think this as a top tucked into maybe some jeans and that would be nice too. This looks just fucking cool, in not it? Definitely one of my favorite pieces. It's like grungy, but like pretty still at the same time. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of got that like perfect mix. I love this. With my socks as well. <laughs> Miss Carly and Playboy, you're really out here giving us a good give right now. I'm so happy. Like so far, I'm so happy and we're like happy through. This was actually the last piece from the collection that launched like literally now, but still plenty more. I have the collection that was like recently launched still to show you. So let's just get into it. Um, and let's see, let's see what's popping. Quick PSA guys, please ignore this. I look like act. Mm. Before we move on to the other part of the collection, I just want to jump in real quick and kind of show you a few more favorites. No, misguided, have not looked at this back and told me to do this. I'm doing this off my own back because I said to you guys that these are my favorite pieces. I kind of feel like I'm lying because there's more. <laughs> Basically, the reason why I didn't have them to show you guys, um, if you work in the clothing industry, you kind of know about this, but obviously I know about it from making my misguided clothes. Basically, the prep up to the launch, you only have so much, right? As in enough samples and physical clothing pieces. As doing this video is technically part of the prep to the clothing launch. Of course, me filming and editing and everything this video, I'm doing it before the actual clothing is launched. So, um, Why is that so funny? She looks so cute. I can't. Anyway, um, so sample wise, there just isn't enough to kind of like go around, which I completely understand. I thought it would be still cool to kind of just like visually show you what some of my favorite pieces are. So if you have a similar style to me, then you'll be vibing with them too. I know you can't see them on me, which is like a tad annoying, but the range has like a similar feel to everything that I've kind of got on me in this video. So I just kind of like try to imagine it. Okay. <laughs> I don't have anything yellow and gray, but how sick are these items? Like this midi skirt with this cropped hoodie is such a vibe. The only piece in the collection that looks like this, so I think it's sick. Another thing that I love is the oversized joggers. These are like a slightly different fit to any of the joggers that you've seen like in this video. These are like real slouchy and real cool and real loose and just like cash. I also really like the all yellow outfit. I know it's like a lot bolder, but like when do you see an all yellow fit? Do you know what I mean? Then moving on, there's this mesh cropped Playboy graffiti top. I love anything mesh, you guys know this. Pop on a cute little like pop of color underneath, love. The black cropped leggings with the split in the side, they have these in yellow and gray as well. But number one, I don't have cropped leggings. And number two, I don't have leggings with like a split in it. I just think these are gorge. And they have the same sort of thing in cycling shorts as well. Like the, you know, the um sort of tie dye gray jogger print that I showed in this video where they have them in the cycling shorts. Okay, orange, orange is back. <laughs> <laughs> this is when I can mention orange. These joggers. Same as the grey and yellow ones, but just look at these. I need these in my life, like now, to be honest. I also really like the black and white stuff too. So there's a skirt and sort of like cropped jacket vibe situation. The piece is lovely. It's kind of giving me sporty vibes. And then I also really like the long trouser version of it as well. They're like wide leg pants, which you'll see wide leg pants soon in this video. But oh, this sweatshirt too, with the mint bluey kind of playboy writing on. I have a size, kind of has balloon sleeves, like kind of looks like I'm wearing my boyfriend's jumper, which you guys know is me. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of like something Nike or Adidas. Nike? Nike? Potato Pizzato. Kind of low-key for like I've kind of just gone through most of the collection. <laughs> Souls. I apologize to your bank account. But yeah, let's get back to the vid. Who is, can I get the zip done up by myself? Bitch talk to the queen. <laughs> right, okay, pink clothing lovers, this one is for you. This is as pink as it gets. Let me tell you, okay, I was so happy when this came that it was the same color on the website. You know, sometimes, I don't know what it is with pink, but sometimes when you get the item in real life, it isn't the same color. Sometimes it comes as like salmon or like something groovy like that. And I'm not my favorite color of that, but this is baby pink joggers high neck bodysuit there's just something i absolutely love about this i think the color is like dead cool it's really different but i just feel like the way that this all fits is so nice high neck long sleeved has my heart this bodysuit fits like an absolute dream like it fits like it's made for me lovely 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 material <laughs> i'm like 90 years old another thing misguided i appreciate the zip that you've put in the back of this bodysuit. Ladies and gents, we do not feel like we're being born again, okay? We've actually got room to like 
slide in. The bodysuit is a thong by the way and it's actually kind of high leg so if I was to pull down you can actually see the sides which I actually think that's really cool. I mean if this is your style here you go. I feel like it brings a little bit of sexy to the table. Joggers are the standard playboy fit. I mean the only one thing is obviously it doesn't have drawstrings here but considering it doesn't how nicely do they fit? You will see these joggers in a few more other colours by the way but this is just so comfy. Like I don't want to take this off. Okay, love this. Like, I have another pink, like, top that I want to show you, so I'm really quickly going to get changed into that. Keep the joggers on, um, so let's check out how this looks. Guys, I think we may have, like, a cropped hoodie winner. I'm just going to throw it out there. I think this is my favourite style of cropped hoodie. Hoodie? <laughs> Not only in this haul, but that I genuinely own. I need to take a look. One second. Like, what? I feel like it makes my boobs look like, hi. Dead flattering, you know. How nice is this? It's tight in all the right places, looser in all the right places. There is a hood on the back as well. And I also love the fact that they've not added hoodie strings because I feel like for this style, it would kind of like, I feel like it would kind of like cheapen it up a little bit. I feel like they've totally gone about that the right way. This is beautiful. See, here's the thing. They have this in numerous colors. Now I'm gonna need everyone. <laughs> now like genuinely, I'm obsessed with this. It's the most like girly feminine and just kind of like sexy way to do a cropped hoodie. Ladies and gents, if you want something a bit more flattering, here you go. Miss Gotta be providing the goods. And as a fit, man, this ticks all the right boxes. This is a big fat yes from me. Like a big fat yes from me. <laughs> Tartars have come out of nowhere. Hi, how are you? Jeffree Star if you have titties. I thought I would jump back into the hoodie dresses real quick. How beautiful is this colour? This lilac, the purple. This is so cute. Um, I'm really into how easy and just throw on this is and it's a super simple design like you have the Playboy X misguided. Every time I put these on like I'm just like oh. I just don't want to take them off like they're fleeced inside. They're so cozy, so warm. These never fail me. Like these never disappoint me. The line look is beautiful. Don't get me wrong, but I also um, have it here in white as well. It's exactly the same thing, just in white. So if you're not really like a color person, this one's for you. Not gonna lie, getting the white on when you have makeup on, rookie risk. It's exactly the same thing, just in white. So if you're not really like a color person, this one's for you. There's not too much else I can say about these, to be honest. I feel like I rave about them so much that I'm just like, buy it and try it for yourself, okay? Buy and try, ladies and gents. Y'all don't believe me on how comfy these are? I mean, girl, I'm gonna just need you to, to get one, really. <laughs> said it earlier and I said it again, I'm obsessed with these, love the way they fit, love the way they feel, really good quality, yeah, love. Ugh, do you know what is annoying? My battery's flashing at me. Anyway, onto some white pieces. The joggers that I'm wearing right now, these are the same as the pink ones earlier, but white. Then I have a few different like tops to change into. This one though has to be one of my favorites. I think this is so cute. The three quarter length sleeves, like I actually really love them. I don't think I have many tops and stuff that are three quarter length sleeves, but I think this is really nice. Um, and it's like a little, kind of it's like a button up, but you could even wear it as like a little cardigan if you wanted. I think you can see my black bra a little bit, ignore that. If you wear like a nude color or whatever, you literally won't see that, I'm just too lazy. One thing I will say about this top though, if you want to wear it how I'm wearing it, girlies. Girlies, my big boobied galleys, okay? Be size up or something like that, because obviously you don't want to like be popping out. This fits me perfectly and it's my size, but I don't have big boobs. Fit for the joggers, same as before. Really, really flattering, but comfy and oversized. An all white fit, I just feel like you can never be mad at. It always looks so good. Makes you look tanned as well. Even better. Should we do some like funky transition? Are you ready? I'm nervous. <laughs> Let's put the hoodie on. Bet you 50 quid that didn't work. <laughs> Just made a fool of myself. We have not seen a like normal hoodie and jogger set yet in this video. This for me is like one of my standard outfits. I always wear like normal sized hoodies with joggers. That is like a must from me. I feel like they've just hit this one right because even if I had the hoodie down, like a lot of the time I find myself like tucking my hoodies into my joggers to make them sit right. Whereas this, I could actually just let it go and hang and it doesn't look like drowning or it doesn't look too big. Everything's in proportion. Um, and this all white, oh damn. Honestly, every time I look at it, I'm like, okay. I'm really feeling the little black accents as well. Like they have them on the end of the strings on the hoodie. Obviously you've got the black logo. Another alternative though, so if you are someone that loves the hoodie vibe, but you're more of like a cropped gal, I feel like this one is for you. 
I really should stop with these transitions. I'm just embarrassing myself at this point. So we saw this earlier in pink, but of course they have it in a few other colors. I love the white just as much. Listen, I love myself a good baggy style, but if you are someone that does want something a bit more, I guess, flattering um, and just a little bit more put together, more of a dressed up version, if you know what I mean. I feel like this style really pulls it all together and just gives it a bit more, less everyday, casual, more like dressed up casual, you know? I'll make this quick because this is literally the same as the pink one, but as an outfit with the joggers and stuff, hell to the S. Right, I've decided to move on to a completely different color. I'm pretty sure we haven't even done gray yet, right? We have a legging set, which is something a little bit different. Um, do you know what? I actually really love the concept of this because this actually comes together. I know for everyone that's not the best thing because a lot of us are different sizes on top to bottom, but they have made the top as you can see, like a bit more oversized and slouchy. And then the leggings are like true to size. These leggings fit like a glove. Like they fit me perfectly. Like round my waist, they fit perfectly. They're really, really um, like figure hugging and quite like complimenting. I feel like light gray always is though. Really nice lengths. Like not too long, not too short. I love this whole car world vibe going on. Light gray is one of my favorite tones of gray. This has the same vibe as everything else. But if you are someone who prefers something a bit more figure hugging, I don't wear leggings enough, but I'm looking at this like, why? Because I really like it. Do you get a camel toe? A little one, but you know, when you have a vagina, it happens. I'm really enjoying this, you know? I actually like it being plain and simpler because it means it's easy to wear and to style with like pieces that, you know, like existing pieces that we already have in our wardrobe. This is that piece, yes. All right. The joggers are back. <laughs> Listen, I know we've seen these joggers, but I do have them in every color because I like them that much. I just thought it'd be cool to show you the joggers option in case you wanted that. And look how good it looks still with this t-shirt. The exact same t-shirt as what I was just wearing, but now with joggers. Don't judge me, I still have the leggings on underneath. The girl's got to do what the girl's got to do, okay? Super quick, just showing you. Just a quick PSA. Grey ones too. Okay. We are on to a final couple of bits now, guys. We are back to black, back to the basics. You cannot go wrong with black and this. I feel like you know what I'm gonna say. At the moment, I've just got this thing, like I've just got this hold of a tighter top with like joggers or looser bottoms, like wide leg bottoms or something. Like that is just me at the moment. It's just sleek and really flattering. Do you know what I mean by having a tighter top on top? Then you have looser bottoms. It makes you look more like hippie. To me, this is everything. So we've got a tight, black short sleeve top and it is a top um i've just tucked mine in but it does go like down to like a normal length and then of course the joggers are back in black which these are just such a staple do you know what it's crazy isn't it how you see the same jogger so many times i know they're in different colors but they're just a simple like color with a simple design but i just think it looks so like chic proves how many different styles of tops and everything that these can all go with you pair it with so much which i think is nice when you can style up an item like so many different times you know one other thing to show you that I feel like it would look sick with as well. We might be finishing off with a bit of a Marmite product. Okay, I feel like you're either gonna love this or hate this. Of course I love it. These pants. Now I'm not sure if you can see on camera, right? But these are velour tracksuit wide leg trousers. You know that like velvety feel? This is those. They're high-waisted. They are pretty long though. Like for me, they go right down to the floor, but I actually don't mind that. Normally I find it fucking annoying. With these though, I think it gives it more of like a Makes my legs look really long, it looks really casual. Super high-waisted look. They pretty much go up to my boobs. Give myself the fattest camel toe right now. Classic pink stripes down the side, okay? We got Playboy here. And guys, look at the bum. Playboy is on my ass. <laughs> these is, I don't know, I just really like these. I think where they're black, they don't look like tacky. You know, they really stood out when I saw these on the website and I just think because they're a completely different material and a completely different style, if you're addicted to the Playboy stuff like me and you wanna try something new, this is it. Or if you just like pants like this, because me too. Comfort to a whole new level. I don't even feel them on my legs. Velour wide leg pants, guys. That was the final piece that I wanted to show you. Let's get into my final thoughts. Let's pull a chair up, okay? Ding. Last few things that I wanna share with you guys. You know what? You know what? I love it, okay? I know there's a lot of you probably being like, well, do you want to know, of course you're gonna say they're getting sponsored. Like, sorry, Karen, okay? Always remember that I don't take the jobs 
unless I like what I'm showing. I see it all before. I think people forget that there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes before I accept a job. I don't like accept it, then see the pieces and then hope for the best. Fully aware what's coming my way. Like how can I stand here and like show something that I don't like? Like where's the passion? And like I said in the beginning, uh, the Playboy stuff just is a bit of me. If you have a similar style to me, hopefully this helped. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. Um, comment down below. I'm going to be chilling in the comments when this goes live. Let me know if you're going to get anything. And don't forget, if you are, use my discount code to save some coins. Subscribe as well. Um, cause it's kind of a fun time over here. Thank you guys for watching. And thank you to Miss Guide. You know, I love you guys for working with me. Have a nice day wherever you are. And um, yeah, I'll catch you all soon. Mwah.